What's up, guys? It's Will here, back again. It is actually 3 a.m. as I'm recording this, and I woke up, saw some crazy news, and I said, you know what? I can't go back to sleep. I gotta record this video because this is just too fucking insane. This needs to be talked about absolutely immediately. A video needs to be put up because this is the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life from Hot Toys. I didn't think this day would ever come, but you know what? We're here, and we're gonna talk about it. We get announcements for Darth Revan and Starkiller. Guys, it's absolutely crazy. But before we get started, make sure to click the like button, subscribe to the channel down below, and click the notification bell so you are notified when content goes live on this channel. These figures will be available for pre-order at Comic Concepts. I'll have a link in the description below. However, they are available for Sideshow pre-order right now, which we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about the price, what they come with, all that good stuff. Guys, we are starting with my boy, Darth Revan. Everyone who knows me knows I'm a very, very, very big Darth Revan fan. I have a five of a first Revan cosplay. I have a Revan statue. So I am beyond excited for six scale hot toys darth revan guys let's look at what it says here in star wars legend revan is a once uh, was once a jedi turned back on his jedi turned his back on the jedi order and became an enigmatic sith lord forming a sith empire that waged war against the jedi order so uh, ever since character's introduction many fans were captivated by revan and his story today hot toys is excited to introduce the highly anticipated one six scale darth revan collectible figure uh skillfully developed helmet and armor uh tailored hooded costume two led light up uh, uh, lightsabers usb there we go i love that and a display base this special edition Edition is available in selected markets comes with a Darth Revan commemorative coin which by the way you will be able to get this uh you know in the states at Sideshow I'm not sure about other countries but we'll talk about that uh given to the dark side and get this amazing collectible figure in your Star Wars display guys let's look at let's look at our boy here let's look at our boy this looks absolutely fucking incredible this is amazing I think Hot Toys is doing uh the people's work right now with this type of figure because again this is the type of stuff that we were wanting to see in 2024 because we knew there was not a lot of new content being uh, released by Disney in terms of Star Wars and Marvel in 2024. So where does Hot Toys go? Of course, they go backwards. They can't go forwards because there's no new content. So they got to go backwards. And they did just that by releasing a figure that everyone, not everyone, a lot of people have wanted for a long period of time. This is a Legends character that is very, very popular and could be really popular again if they actually remade KOTOR, Knights of the Old Republic. But this, guys, this is a, a just an amazing character, trust me. So if you ever play KOTOR, uh, the new one, when they do release it, Revan is great. Uh, you know, I love, I love the character from Knights of the Old Republic. I, I just think the character has so much uh, depth to him and, and, you know, so much of a story behind him and development. So and just honestly, he just looks cool as shit, too. I mean, he's one of the strongest Sith that has ever existed. And uh, I just think he looks absolutely awesome. As far as the figure is concerned, you can see the rips and the tatters in the bottom of the cape there. That's pretty consistent. A lot of times you see that with a lot of Revan costumes. Uh, you have the red sash there as well. Uh, and you have, the, of course, the, the chest armor and the waist armor, the kidney armor in there as well. And uh, you got the gauntlets and the gloves and that type of stuff. You got his purple lightsaber and his red lightsaber. The purple lightsaber has like claws on the side of it and then like little uh indents and then like a little red button in in the middle there as you can see and then the uh the other lightsaber the red one has like a gold uh type of uh paint scheme to it with silver on it it's actually pretty cool because i have life-size versions of these and i think i think it's you know really cool for my costume uh so this looks great. The helmet actually looks great to me. I think the helmet has a lot of weathering to it, and I think it looks really accurate to Revan. So uh, I am very happy with how this looks so far. Uh, again, this, <laughs> I mean, the hood to me looks like it's going to be wired. That would be my best speculation. Uh, I think it moves pretty well. The helmet does look maybe slightly large, but very, very tiny. Not a huge complaint. I think that looks fine. It really depends. Like certain Reverend cos uh, costumes, the helmet looks a little bit thinner. Uh, the mask rather looks a little bit thinner. Uh, whereas with this one, it, it does look a little bit wider, but nothing crazy. I think the visor on it looks great. I think the, the weathering on it, the detail looks great. This is one of Reverend's iconic poses here with the lightsabers cross like that. You see a lot of artwork uh, depicting Revan in that way. Uh, I think you could pose him like this uh, and it'd be fine because it's all fabric, right? So I think you could absolutely pose him like this and I don't think you would have a huge issue. I don't think it's going to be like a Spider-Man or, or, or Black Panther where the fabric's going to fuck your day up. I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, this looks absolutely great and we will get to Starkiller and even BT1 by the end of this video. But for now, Guys, I'm just so beyond excited for this Revan. He doesn't even really come with much, right? You have the lightsabers, you have the uh, the armor, of course, which is part of the figure anyway, and you have the hands, and that's pretty much it, right? You have a display base, of course, but that's a very basic display base. I honestly would have liked to see something a little bit more significant there. Um, 
beggars can't be choosers, right? I mean, we're getting the figure. So at the end of the day, you could always pick up a custom base if you wanted. So I'm just fucking thrilled that they made this, dude. I'm just beyond shocked that they made this. I, I'm just over the moon. I can't tell you how excited I am to get this. Uh, I, I just think this is this is remarkable. Um, I'm so glad that Hot Toys has done this. Uh, I can't believe you've done this. Like, I'm but super excited, honestly. Um, so it's just crazy. So guys, let's talk about Star Killer real quick, and then we'll go uh, to you know talk about. Well, let's talk about Raven, I guess, on Sideshow real quick, and then we'll go back to Star Killer. I'm um, sorry to to tease you guys there, but essentially, yeah, you can see it's two hundred and seventy dollars on Sideshow. There's a collector edition and the exclusive. You can see with the exclusive it gives you the commemorative coin. Again, I think I think uh, the regular edition is going to be on Comic Concepts. So. Um, with that one, uh, you'll be able to pick that one up on Comic Concepts. Again, I'll have a link in the description below. Since the exclusive is a Sideshow exclusive, I'm not sure if Comic Concepts is gonna have that one, but I'll check with Josh and give you guys an update in the comments section later. But already up $270. Uh, I mean, I think that's, again, very fair. I, you know, you're not getting a ton of accessories with this thing, but you got two USB light-up sabers, a really, really cool, unique character. 270 is, all we could ask for in today's market. Uh, you know, this is expected to ship April to September of 2025. It's probably going to be longer than that, right? It typically is. So, uh, you know, maybe early 2026, about a year and a half, maybe like, maybe we wait two years, like April, 2026, you know, um, it'll be worth the wait though, hundred percent, but $270, as you can see here, uh, so yeah, I think that guys, <laughs> I like, I mean, I, I cannot, I'm going to pre-order this thing so quickly. Um, I, I can't, I absolutely cannot wait for this. So, uh, let's move on to star killer star killer. I'm going to be transparent. I don't know as much about him. Uh, I've not played any of the games that star killer is in like force unleashed. I've not, I've not played those games specifically myself, but, uh, he looks cool as fuck. And this is probably going to be a character that I think I end up picking up as well, um, just because I think he's a really badass character, and I've heard so many good things about him. I would like to play those games um, with Star Killer, but um, again, he's not one I know as much. But I know there are a lot of diehard Star Wars fans who absolutely love themselves some Star Killer. So, uh, guys, look at the detail in the armor, though. I just think it's really cool. And something I never noticed about the character is sort of the blades on the hands. I would be very, that's going to be, I would be very careful with those when you're changing out the hands, uh, when you're actually going to display this guy, be very, very careful, uh, not to break something. You know, I, I, I'm worried about myself, honestly, with that, but, uh, you know, I'm excited to get, uh, this star killer as well. I think it looks absolutely great. Look at the detail in the costume design. Hot Toys is clearly, uh, advertising this part of the marketing campaign. It, this had to be a difficult figure to make. I mean, uh, to be honest, this looks very intricate. Uh, it just, it just looks really cool. I'm glad that they mark these as legends. It doesn't look like they have a specific, um, IP, right? Like Knights of the Republic or Force Unleashed or whatever. It just is Star Wars Legends. So, um, I know we were speculating originally that they might not do that, but I, I mean, Hey, I don't really care. As long as the figure gets made, I'm fine with it. Um, the detail on this outfit looks great. It, you know, this could be Photoshop work, but it looks like to me, there's probably a wire in the, in the little, uh, cloak here. So, that really looks great. You can probably pose this guy in some dynamic poses and do whatever you want with him. But I mean, you can do uh, you can do a hell of a lot with this figure. Um, and this is something that maybe I'll. Uh, there's probably Force Unleashed like a whole video of what like you know the cutscenes or whatever. Maybe I'll do that, or maybe I'll play the game. Um, if I can find it on Steam or something, that would be pretty cool. But this looks great. I mean, it comes with his lightsaber. Uh, you know, the outfit just looks, this is, I mean, look at that. This is gonna pop on a shelf. There's no question about it. I have no reservations about saying that whatsoever. Uh, I just think this is this is gonna be an awesome looking figure. Um, th dude, <laughs> this is so, so cool, man. I'm so excited for all the Star Wars fans who are getting this thing here. This is really, really great. The detail in the armor, again, just has so much personality he to me he almost kind of is like a like his own inquisitor like he that's kind of what he looks like to me like an inquisitor but way stronger and you can tell like he looks like he's like evolved past that point or something um i know he's not that i know he's not an inquisitor but i think from my recollection he's like darth vader's uh, apprentice in this one but i'm not sure exactly how how that works so uh that's pretty cool so it looks like to me you get a couple different lightsabers uh i need to i need to look at this real quick LED powered lightsaber. Yeah, there's a couple different lightsaber hilts. It looks like to me, like three. So yeah, I, I mean, dude, and him displaying him on his back. That's cool. You're never gonna see that in the display, but it's still really fucking cool, dude. Like that's that's absolutely awesome, dude. Starkiller, his helmet too, man. It, it you know, 
people aren't gonna like this but it has a kylo type look to me people aren't gonna like that i said that but you know kylo's my boy Ky kylo ren is my favorite star wars character so uh, you know there's something really special about him to me so uh they have the exclusive commemorative coin uh version with uh you know uh star killer on sideshow as well again I'm, I'm gonna check with josh from comic concepts you can use my code will fox for ten dollars off any order there so you can get hot toys uh, you know, much cheaper there than you will with Sideshow. So that's something we'll look at as well. But exclusive $270, I think that's reasonable. I think this is going to be a pickup for me as well. I think the Star Killer. I, I think I think I need to learn about the character. This is... Um, this is where merchandise can help you educate and uh, yourself and then, you know, learn more about the character and just become more connected to the franchise. So it's a win-win all around. Guys, there was another uh, character that was announced, BT1. Uh, BT1, I, again, don't know as much about, but we're going to talk about him nonetheless. Um, you can see here he is a droid. Uh, I don't, it says comic. Uh, someone's gonna have to let me know a little bit more about BT1. Sorry, my knowledge is a little bit lacking on him and Starkiller. Revan, yes, I know all about Revan. I, I never played the old Republic, the MMO. I think it's an MMO, right, with uh, Revan, but I did play KOTOR, KOTOR 1 and 2. Uh, Revan's not in 2, from what I remember, but 1, he definitely is. Um, so BT1 here, you can see we got another exciting droid. He looks pretty cool, honestly. He looks like he's like, dude, he's like steroided up for a droid. I think this is this is pretty cool, man. He looks like he's like War Machine. He's like Star Wars droid War Machine. Look at these like turrets and shit he's got going on. So I, I think this looks pretty cool as well, man. Uh, this is going to be another one that I think people are probably interested in, although I do think it's going to get overshadowed by the other two ones. Um, but I'm, I, look, dude, this... This is just an exciting day, guys. This is a super exciting day. This C-3PO, is that it? I haven't seen the announcement for the C-3PO. I'll go back and check, because, but that looks pretty cool too, honestly. It looks like a very unique C-3PO. Uh, I'm still getting the Return of the Jedi one myself. That's still that's still, that's still still my goal at the end of the day. But uh, yeah, this is this is super, super cool. Dude, uh, <laughs> this is amazing. So this BT-1, again, is another one. Uh, I'm at a loss for words, guys. Um, Hot Toys just made dreams come true this morning. And I cannot say enough good things about what they've done. Uh, they deserve some praise for this one. They truly do. Uh, BT-1, again, there's not that much that comes with him, but he looks really cool. Uh, he got a really cool light-up feature, it looks like to me. Uh, this is, this is going to be another cool figure. Again, it's probably going to be overshadowed by uh, the other two. But at the end of the day, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, BT-1, I'll pull him up real quick. He'll be uh, for pre-order on uh, Comic Concepts as well. Sorry, I sound like a broken record, but, you know, um, I do think you guys will be able to get some good deals there with, uh, with you know, my code and all that good stuff. So BT-1, $220 here on Sideshow, uh, October 24th to March 25th. I think that, dude, that's that that's a good price for him, I feel like. It's a droid. Um, I don't think there's anything too crazy there. Uh, but yeah, I think I think this is gonna be pretty cool. Guys, I am beyond excited. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this Revan, this Star Killer, and of course this BT1. Guys, Revan is so cool, dude. I am so excited about Revan. I'm actually going to go and pre-order him right now. Uh, I have a feeling that I'm only going to be able to get the, all of us are probably only, it's a Sideshow exclusive, so I'm not sure we're going to be able to get them elsewhere. So I think I'm just going to pre-order them on Sideshow for now and then maybe get a collector's edition on Comic Concepts. But um, yeah, we'll see. Guys, this is one, yeah, I... Yeah, I'm so excited. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, I'm just, like I said, at a loss of words. I can't believe that they actually went through and made these Revan and Starkiller figures. I am just so beyond excited. Revan is going to go top shelf on my Star Wars display. Like, I, I will make room for him. That's what I will say. He's that type of character for me. Um, beyond that, guys, make sure to like the video down below if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, click the notification bell so you're notified when content goes live on this channel. I appreciate every single one of you. You guys have been awesome to me, and uh, I hope that uh, you found this video entertaining and helpful, but it was more just me like <laughs> just gushing about how excited I am for this one. This is really cool. Um, yeah, guys, have a good rest of your day. I'm going to get this video edited, uploaded for you, and then go back to sleep. Thank you so much. It's 4 a.m. now officially. It was like 3.40, 50 when we started. So <laughs> thank you so much, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. See you later. Bye. Bye.